Sometimes it's really hard to know what your keywords should be on Pinterest, but I am of the firm belief that it should not be so hard to figure out what your keywords should be for this platform. So today I'm gonna to show you how to source, vet, and use keywords using one of my very favorite tactics. Now I've never shown you this ever on this channel, so I hope you are ready to roll up your sleeves and do the work today. But before we dive into the screen share that you know is coming, I just wanna take a second to thank today's sponsor, which is Keywords Everywhere. They are so generous to sponsor today's video and I just wanted to say thank you. Now, before we dive into this method, you're gonna need two things. Number one, you're gonna need the spreadsheet that I've actually linked for you in the description down below. You can actually make a copy of this spreadsheet without entering your email address or anything. You're just gonna go grab it. Number two, you need a Keywords Everywhere account. So go to heatherferris.com forward slash Keywords Everywhere to get your account so we can follow along together. As we get started, you are going to notice this sheet has a few tabs in it. So first things first, I have my own example. I have a brand example. I have a template for you and then how to use your keywords, which we'll talk about later. So as we dive into this, I want you to answer these four main question. In the template, you'll see it here. What products do you sell? What services do you sell, if any? What are the last 10 or so pieces of content you created? And what are the five most common questions that people ask you? This is how I do all of my keyword research for myself, students, and clients. So I want you to answer these questions. So if you want to pause the video and answer these questions, and then you can follow along with me as we get started. So in the brand example here, I have already filled this out for um, example products that this sample brand sells, services, content they've created and questions that they get asked. So in this example, the products that this person would sell are these right here, mother pearl earrings and necklaces, 24 karat gold forever jewelry, birthstone gems, bracelets with personalized messages, um, rings for new moms, push presents, things like that. So they have a very female centered audience. They don't really sell services because they do sell products. They're a good seller and that's fine. And then some of the common um, or some of the content that they've created, for example, are like Instagram posts on birthstones, carousel posts on the meaning of birthstones. You've seen those carousel posts that are like the zodiac signs or like horoscopes and you can swipe through them, something like that. Um, product type posts that are like the, an aquamarine uh, gift ideas for bridal parties. You, you can kind of get a gist here of what this made up brand does and sells based on what I've put in here. And then some of the most common questions that they get asked is like, what exactly is mother of pearl? Can birthstones be customized or personalized? Are there different styles and designs available for birthstone rings? And these are questions that I made up for this brand. Okay, so once you have all of that, we're actually going to go to Google and we're going to start this keyword research phase. So we're just going to start at the top with the products that we sell. And then we're going to start inputting keywords in. So this sheet is going to be really messy by the time we're done, but you're going to um, kind of organize it as we start to map them over to Pinterest. So you see, I have a lot of different rows here that are just blank and space between each of the questions. I do that intentionally. And then I have multiple columns with keywords that we can input. And I did that very intentionally as well. So we're going to start right here with mother of pearl keywords. We're going to go to Google. And the first thing I want you to do is make sure that your keywords everywhere extension is turned on. Now, a couple of settings things that you might want to pay attention to are the supported websites and where your usage for keywords everywhere is going to be spent. We definitely want it to be turned on for Google search, but you may not need all these other ones turned on right away. Um, however, I do want you to make sure you have Google search turned on. Okay, back to our example product here. I'm just going to put the name of the product in that we sell. And what I'm going to do is over here on the right hand side, you can see we have these earrings or these keywords here. So that's what I want you to pay attention to are the related keywords. And then there's a people also uh, search for keyword section. And these are things that are related, but maybe not as related. Um, so you can look through here and see that there's quite a few keywords that are actually on target for what we're looking for. 
And then if you keep on going down, there's another section here, long tail keywords. And these are here as well. So what you can do is come and just click the simple copy button and go back to your keyword research tab. Now you're not gonna wanna put this in the template sheet. You're probably gonna wanna paste this in just a blank sheet because you can see here all of this extra data that comes out. We just want the keywords. So we're gonna go back to our brand example and I'm gonna double click and actually paste all of those in this one row and I'm gonna bring the keyword up so I can kind of see what this looks like. And then we're gonna just hop back over to the related section um, and scroll down through the people also search for and the long tail. I actually think I wanna copy these long tail ones and you can see how quickly here we can actually do keyword research for this platform. So let's just take these four and put these in the brand example as well. So I'm gonna put these actually over here in this one because I have multiple different sections here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our next keyword and we're gonna do the same thing. So to get them all in the same cell, if you stick them all together and then double click and paste, you can have all of them in the same cell and you don't have to have them in multiples. Um, let's do one on bracelets with personalized gems and let's actually just do personalized gemstones and we'll fix our thing here. And then we're just going to copy these. You also, you want to make sure that they are correct. And then in our, um, extra sheet, we're going to paste those and then we're going to bring these over. So that is a good selection of examples for your products, we want to move on down to the kind of content that we create because we want to have keywords along different um, avenues and search types. So we want awareness keywords, consideration keywords, we want product keywords. So let's actually look at um, keywords for diamond birthstones. So that's really specific. So then let's just search for that and see what keywords are going to come up down here for that. So we have birthstone months, birthstone meanings. These are actually really pretty decent for um, content style keywords. So let's go ahead and put that in. And then under, we're going to go and put types and then we're going to paste those in. Still didn't find much for diamond birthstones in the way that I was thinking, but here are some keywords that are actually on topic. So let's take those and put them in our sheet and then we're just going to take a few of them you don't actually need all of them scrub them down to what you want them to be if you have multiples in that list that you want to include just delete the the rows out you don't want so like this one right here for sale maybe we don't want that keyword but we want all of these you could definitely paste them all in just like that. So you would do that for each of the pieces of content that you've created. I really like this one, gift ideas for a bridal party. So let's grab that one and then we'll go down to the final example. Thank you gifts for wedding parties, gifts for bridesmaids for the wedding day. These, This is actually a really good list. So let's grab those. Make sure you double click in the cell, that way they actually all come through. And then um, under the common questions that people ask. So basically what you would do is you would just take the question and you're going to put it into Google. Um, and then obviously this is going to be more like a blog post style keyword. So people would be searching for this and landing on blog content. And that is, that's my philosophy. That's my opinion. So what you're going to do is you're going to come through and see what keywords are related to this. And you can see there's not like all those other boxes that were coming up for this are not there. That's because this keyword isn't really a product keyword. It's not really bottom of funnel. It's very much top of funnel. People are interested in figuring out what mother of pearl is and how it's different. They're not really looking to buy just yet. So this in itself is a keyword. What exactly is mother of Pearl, but also these other ones, like what is Mother of Pearl, Mother of Pearl Jewelry. This is product focused for sure. And you can see here the difference in competition. What is Mother of Pearl has a competition of 0 0.04 on a scale of zero to one. That mean being really low and one being really high. And Mother of Pearl Jewelry being competition of one. This is a high competition because this is a product keyword. So I like this one, you can right click and paste that one or if you just wanted to grab them all again click the copy button take them over to your sheet paste them in 
And then you can grab however uh, many of those you wanted and then stick that in your questions that people also people ask me box. Let's talk about how to actually bring these over to Pinterest. So what we are going to do is in our search bar, we are going to start searching for those keywords that we found for Google. So like this one right here, mother of pearl earrings gold. You're just going to put that in the box and you want to make sure it says all pins. This doesn't always give you this option when you go to Pinterest on your profile and you click the search bar. So do make sure it says all pins. And then you just wanna pay attention to what's on the screen. So one quick note that you need to know, because you're gonna see search data on Pinterest. So when you see the search volume on Pinterest related to keywords everywhere, that data is actually not accurate for Pinterest search, it is accurate for Google search. Now, I still find this to be incredibly helpful when it comes to figuring out what keywords are available across platforms. So YouTube, Pinterest, and Google for me, but it could also mean Etsy, you know, Amazon, and other platforms for you. Okay, number two uh, thing that you wanna know related to keywords everywhere in Pinterest is sometimes there are some boxes that will show up here at the top of the screen that you would have noticed over here. So some boxes that are similar to those. They don't show up for every search result, but when they do, what you wanna do is just pay attention to the information inside. So let's just play around with this for a second till we get that box to show up. Or we have some search insights and then we have some related trends. Like I said, it doesn't show up with every search result that you are going to search for, but when it does, it can be really very interesting. Now, a couple of things that I really enjoy about this. It gives you the dominant colors that are showing up in the search results down below. I really like this because this can this really kind of speaks to the point of the, the sea of sameness that I always talk about when it's like when you're creating Pinterest pins. You want to look and see what your competition is creating in the search results to see if you need to do something different with your brand design, with your image design to stand out in the feed. Another thing that works off and on, um, it is working this week, is the top pinner here. And it'll, if you click this, it should take you to their Pinterest profile. And you can kind of see what is um, related to that pinner in this space. You can see here, the top pinner here, I think it's pulling from this data at the top but it could also be pinning from uh, pulling from down here. Now, the other thing that I really like about this is the related trends box. This isn't necessarily Pinterest trends. These are just search, related trends in search. So these can also give you some additional supporting keywords that you can use in your strategy. Okay, so let's actually start scrubbing our list for Pinterest and Google keywords. Because remember, these keywords actually started out on Google. So what we wanna do is we want to start looking for all of those keywords on Pinterest. So if we search for that original one, you can see here it shows up on Pinterest, but it's showing up on Pinterest slightly differently. So mother of pearl gold earrings, it's showing up over here like that. So we're gonna stick that one in, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep going. So mother of pearl earrings silver, it's probably gonna flip the words around again. No, it actually didn't. So that one actually is here. There's obviously keywords that are coming up for that. There are similar keywords that are coming up here. Um, so we can go ahead and vet that one as well. Mother of pearl earrings drop, that one's probably also over here. So basically what you're going to do is you're just going to go through your list and you're going to validate the keywords that are showing up on Pinterest. You have competitors that are pinning products in this space. You have pinners that are saving products in this space to their own boards. And then you have Pinterest giving you related searches and shop similar searches. That's what we're looking for. This is a really good sign. And I chose this industry because I've worked in this industry and I know these keywords were gonna work. So what we wanna do is we wanna see if the search on Pinterest actually gives us this. And it does. Van Cleef, mother of pearl earrings. This is really very interesting. That is a validation right there. Now, the thing that you wanna know and the thing you wanna pay attention to is sometimes the keywords on Pinterest and the keywords on Google are not in the same order. Both platforms are smart enough to put the keywords in the right order, or if you use the keywords out of order, it will put you in that search result. 
However, I just like to use them as someone would speak the words. So if it's Van Cleef, mother of pearl earrings, that's the phrasing I'm going to use. Once you've gone through and you've validated all of your keywords for Pinterest and that they are on Pinterest, what we want to do next is talk about actually how to use them. So there's a whole tab in here that I've inserted for you and I've inserted the, what is this, eight places that you need to use all of your keywords. Um, your pin titles, your description, and your text overlay, as well as your board title, board description, and board cover, if you use one. Board cover is optional. I'll put a star next to it. And then your bio and display name for your profile. So we're going to move some of these around, and I'm going to call these out. So right here, this person is selling jewelry, affordable fine jewelry, and unique fashion jewelry. Two main keywords that she's looking to rank for, or he is looking to rank for, and they have kind of sandwiched those on the back end of their business name. You can see they actually do quite well. 4.5 million monthly views. They have 53,000 followers. This is a really great example of what you can do well with your main keywords on Pinterest. Moving to the next one, you can see here the text overlay. So the main keyword here is jewelry staples. And they are using kind of different keywords throughout from their text overlay to their title and their description, but they all match. They kind of all support each other and all go together. And that's what we're looking for. Keywords in all three places. The last one is your board. And this is a, another really big brand on Pinterest. They have um, a really solid board title and a board description and all of the pins on the board match and go with those keywords. So there's nothing out of order or out of sorts here. So I've given you examples of what you can do on Pinterest to validate and use your keywords here. Just so you know, you can move these all around the spreadsheet, however you would like. But these are basically all the places that you need to be using keywords in your strategy. Now make sure you visit heatherferris.com forward slash keywords everywhere to grab your very own account with this fantastic tool. It's my favorite keyword research tool on the market. And if you pair that together with my free SEO masterclass, which is in the description and the link products down below, you will be well on your way to creating your very own Google, YouTube, Pinterest, SEO strategy in no time.